Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be testing the Foxier mix for latency for setting it up. So this thing can record 1080p 60 frames a second and this is everything that it comes with. And again, we're going to be testing it for latency. And if you're looking for the FPV footage, this will not be the video for you. I will be putting this possibly on a small micro or um, possibly a nice little 3 inch with 11xx motors. Not sure yet. We'll see as time goes on. So some of the things that you provide you with is this little cover here for the SD card uh, This is so it doesn't eject and you lose it and that does tend to happen sometimes and here They provided you with a bunch of nylon standoffs as well as screws here now This thing is a 30 by 30 mountable and as well as a 20 by 20 m2 And you can what you can do is if you wanted to change this into a 20 by 20 stack You'll have to pop that PCB the outer PCB off uh, just be very careful when doing that so you don't really break anything. So just keep that in mind also. So this is the 30 by 30 and they're M3 screws. And these would be the uh, 20 by 20 and they're using M2 screws. So keep that in mind as well. We also do have a microphone jack and this is the shutter button. And I believe it starts recording automatically. I haven't tested it just yet, but we'll see as time goes on. So we get the main board. We get the uh, Foxier mixed camera. Now they're using the same type of wires here as the uh, Cadix Turtle. I don't know how durable these are, uh, but they feel, I'm scared just by the way they feel. They feel very flimsy, maybe? And you would just pop this into the board just like this here. Um, I do like the run cam connectors, uh, but I don't know how good this one is. Now, the only difference between this one and the run cam connector is, as you can tell, it's really flexible. Uh, the ribbon cable that came with the run cam split is not as flexible as this so just keep that in mind so if you're looking for flex uh this is going to be good and it's also mounted by 20 by 20 so that's really awesome as well it's really uh universal and you get one wire here the wire is somewhat you're gonna have to cut it and modify it for it to work on your quadcopter so this thing also takes raw battery voltage anywhere between 5 volts to i think they said 27 volts um so keep that in mind also here we have our osd remote like any other thing here we have a couple adapters and the mounts if you ever needed them and again here are the screws here and that's really about it the online doc the document there was no documentation in my package i think they want you to go online to do that so right now i'm going to connect it and let's start latency testing this guy all right guys so let's go ahead and test the fox here mix here now i've gotten the first result is 30 milliseconds but we're going to take a couple more samples together because it fluctuates quite dramatically so on the bottom here we have is the LED. When, the, when this line goes up like that, that's when the LED turns on. And this is the video signal. As you can tell, the LED was off here. And when the LED turned on, it actually registered right there. And we calculate the difference here, which is 30.8 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and take another sample here. And this is with the LED turning on. So let's see. Right, it picked up right about here. Again, 30 milliseconds. It fluctuates, I think, between 15 and 30. So we're going to take a couple samples and see what we get. Uh, here we have 21 milliseconds. So its current maximum is around 30 milliseconds. It's okay as long as it doesn't pass 35 milliseconds. So that's all right. But there are faster ones, that's for sure, uh, in terms of latency. So if you're doing something latency um, sensitive, then you might want to look into a different camera. But um, from what I saw online, the quality looks really good. So... I still don't know. I haven't matched them all up against each other just yet. So we have 33 milliseconds. And again, this is with the LED turning on. So let's go ahead and take another sample. There we go. All right. And what do we have here? 30.8. It's it's stat, it's pretty, you know, you can take it as you want. But I'm, I'm saying it's the latency of it is 32 milliseconds. Between 20 to 32 milliseconds with the LED turning on. Now let's go ahead and do it with the LED turning off here. So we're going to go ahead and drop it. There we go. We got our first one. As you can tell, the LED was on and then it turned off here and then that's where it registered. So we're going to say 28 milliseconds. It's pretty consistent. Usually it does change from uh, turning on to turning off. 41 milliseconds. Ooh, this is the worst result I've got. And again, this is the LED turning off here. So kind of simulating a darker environment from a light to a dark environment here. 36. So it's turning off is over 35 milliseconds with the LED turning off. 28 milliseconds. We'll take a couple more samples here. All right. And what is this? 
38 milliseconds, 38.2 milliseconds. 26 milliseconds. So again, it's between 25 to 40 milliseconds with the LED turning off. So I would, I would possibly average average the latency of this camera around 34 milliseconds, but that's just out of my head. So you can go ahead and come up with your own number there. But for me, this is where I would consider the range of this camera is. Yeah, there we go. We got 30 milliseconds here. And we'll do one more here, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. All right. So it's 38.2 milliseconds. Yeah, so it's latency. I mean, there's other cameras that are better in terms of latency, but the quality seems to be pretty good from what I saw online. I haven't tested it personally. And um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it in the upcoming days because the weather is finally clearing up and spring is finally on its way, which is super awesome. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider using the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And I don't, also do have a Patreon. If you could join me there and support the mission, that would be super great. And, well... I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.